Hey guys and welcome to another Hope uh, Daily. Uh, today is Thursday and we're going to be looking at uh, Romans chapter 9 verses 30 uh, through into chapter 10 ending uh, uh, chapter 10 uh, verse uh, 13. Um, so I'm going to kind of read the majority of it through uh, making a few comments uh, and then we'll kind of uh, sit and camp uh, around the main uh, thought that we'll drive from this passage and if you're watching back later on or watching live as it's been produced then um, let me know your thoughts, your comments, your reactions uh, to the passage as we get into it. So it says in Romans chapter 9 verses 30, um, what shall we say then that the Gentiles did not pursue righteousness um, have obtained it, a righteousness that is by faith. But Israel, uh, who pursued a law of righteousness, has not attained it. Why not? Because they pursued it not by faith, as it were, by works. They stumbled over the stumbling stone. So as it is written, See, I lay in Zion a stone which causes men to stumble, and a rock which makes them fall, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. So it, it kind of shows that that stumbling stone is Jesus Christ. And he is kind of like the dividing line he is a, he is a stone which either causes them to stumble or he is a stone which people uh, place their, their their feet on and stand firm because they trust in him and so really salvation um is really about how do we approach jesus what do we do with jesus is he something that we try and measure up against and compete against and if so we stumble over him um or is he something that we just uh, trust in that it, in something that we uh, consume it into us um uh, that that he might become our life and our and our faith. So he continues uh, in chapter ten, verse one. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God uh, for the Israelites is that they may be saved. Uh, for I can testify that them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. So the Israelites and especially certain sects of the Israelites, like Pharisees, uh, were you know were, were really zealous. They were really passionate um, about their religion. They were really passionate about God, but their passion and their zeal was based on knowledge and not based on faith. They tried to measure up. They tried to perform, and, and they performed like really really hard, you know, to try and measure up against uh, against God. Uh, but ultimately. You know, God was kind of proving the point that that is not what he desired. He wanted them to come to him through faith. Uh, since they did not know the righteousness that came comes from God and sought to establish their own uh, and, and notice that you know they kind of rejected God's method of righteousness and sought to establish their own. You know, they thought better. They thought right. Um, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Christ is the end of the law so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Uh, verse 5, Moses describes uh, in this way the righteousness that is by the law. The man who does these things will live by them. So the law was basically, hey, if you do you know, X, Y, and Z, you will be saved. If you meet the standard, if you, if you pass the mark, then you will be saved. It's about external actions. Those who do, do those things will be saved. Uh, but the righteousness that is by faith says, hey, do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven. You know, so don't start to compare and think, oh, OK, who's greater, who's who's more holy, who's more righteous by our external deeds. Um, that is because that is to bring Christ down. That's like to, to compare ourselves against the holiness of Christ and to, and to lower his standard of holiness. Or who will descend into uh, the deep, you know, who's who's worse, uh, was, who's got more sin in their life, who's messed up more, who's made more errors and, and more faults. Um, that is to, to bring Christ uh, up from the dead, you know, from, you know, the, the death he paid for our sin. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you, are, that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and uh, and are saved. So what he's, Paul's kind of saying is that there's a difference between righteousness through the law and righteousness through faith, where righteousness through the law says, you know, you have to do certain things to be saved. Righteousness through faith is saying, hey, stop stop comparing your outer works against anybody. You know, it's, don't stop trying to measure up. 
Stop trying to compete. Stop trying to perform. Stop, 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 stop trying effectively. Um, you know, stop, stop trying to to um, to scrape together whatever kind of uh, good moral value you have in your life. Um, stop trying to compare yourself against you know what is good or, or or what is bad. But hide yourself in Jesus. And notice, kind of, he, he talks about and he's kind of quoting from uh, Deuteronomy here, Deuteronomy thirty. He says, "The word is near you; it is in your mouth and in." your heart in your mouth and in your heart and you think about the word of God being in our mouth and in our heart I it's something that we consume it's something that we that we breathe it's something that we live on it's something that works from the inside out because that's what it says um, in terms of how we come to faith or how we're saved but if you confess with your mouth Jesus in Lord and believe in your heart then you will be saved for it's with your heart that you believe and are justified and it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved so so faith works on the inside out is that faith is a matter of the heart it's saying hey um, I, I, I'm done with trying to perform I'm done with trying to measure up and um, I've accepted that I'm a failure I'm accepted that I'm a sinner and a, re- and a rebel before God uh, and so now I just place my faith in Jesus I give him my heart I trust in him and I and I proclaim, I publicly proclaim through my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and by His sacrifice, uh, 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 and by my uh, redemption through His death on the cross uh, and His resurrection, I am made clean and pure. And, and, and that's it. That is my righteousness. My righteousness is faith in Christ. Um, uh, you know, and, and the overflow of that is that which affects my life. Um, and it's, it finishes off in, in verse 11. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Anyone who trusts in Jesus will never be put to shame. As in like God's not going to say, you know, God's not going to judge us underneath the law when we are under Christ. So, so when we hide ourselves in Christ, he's not going to come to us and say, oh, your life doesn't measure up here. Oh, you, you've fallen short. Oh, now there's condemnation. Because the scriptures say, hey, there's no condemnation for those who are in Jesus. You know, we will never be put to shame. We are never going to be measured against the law's requirement when we place ourselves in Christ, when we hide ourselves in in Christ and have a righteousness that is through faith, which is awesome to know that that we never have to think um, about facing shame again, um, you know, when we hide ourselves in in Jesus. for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord over all um, and richly blesses all who call on him. You know, he wants to richly bless all who will call on his name. For, uh, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, anyone that puts their trust in Jesus, anyone who who, 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 who exalts Jesus' name over their life and hides underneath him, that, that we hide ourselves in Jesus, that, we, that we're not trying to perform, that we're not trying to... Um, like to, to, to gather together uh, any any bits of morality or goodness in our life that we just say hey i'm done with that i'm placing my faith in jesus my righteousness is in jesus my uh, my, my my holiness is 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 in and through uh, Jesus, um, and, and so really, that is the that is the righteousness that comes by faith. It, it's having the Word of God, the truth of God, Jesus Christ, in our heart and in our mouth. It's something that we believe and are convicted in, and in our heart that we believe wholeheartedly, and it's something that we speak out, that we live out, and uh, that that faith works uh, from the inside out. Uh, so hopefully, that's been an encouragement to you this morning. I hope you have an awesome day. Um, so I'm just quickly pray for you and then we will finish up here. So yeah, dear Lord, just thank you for your word. God, thank you, God, that you brought a new way of righteousness, a righteousness that works from the inside out, a righteousness that declares, Lord, that if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, then we will be saved. God, we just thank you, God, that we do not need to perform um, or succeed underneath the requirements of the law, but that you can give us righteousness through faith in you. So we trust in you that you will never put us to shame because of your name. Amen. Amen. Great. Well, have an awesome day, guys. Um, Someone will be with you tomorrow for the next passage. Uh, But blessings on you. And uh, and yeah, place your faith in Jesus all the more. Amen. Bye-bye.